Maureen, 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 <laughs> Maureen. How are you doing? I'm good, Noel. How are you? And here you are, back in my life. <laughs> Would you drink a pint? I would if I got it. Hey! <laughs> yes. Go. Boo. Harry Fong was in. He was in last week in your absence. I got the jab. The sec- I, got the, I got the vaccine. The second one. Yeah, I got one knee charm. <laughs> okay. But I, I said to him, how is it you're giving the same amount to everyone? Do you know what I mean? Well, like, I have a big frame. Well, you reckon you should get more vaccine? Than a handy fella. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. Like the Keiko Brian. <laughs> yeah. He got four or five of them. <laughs> yeah. You can put me big man. Yeah, it's big he's man. Big, big unit. Yeah, he's big man. Yeah. What I mean? You can put it on toast. He'd take him on. <laughs> the little needle. You want the fucking tube of grip fill for him? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, the Fong looked after you, all right, didn't he? He did, yeah. He's, he's, uh, he was round, was he? He was round, yeah, for once. Okay, good. A bit of news. Please. A bit of news. This, uh, a story from Ireland for once. Wow. A sports equipment company has unfairly dismissed a female employee, ruled the Work Relations Commission, with, as hand, working with your relations can be hard. <laughs> so I'm glad there's some sort of commission for it. But I got John Paul to wire his shed one time. I well. built a shed for Donovan and I got him to wire it. And now he's on to me every six months looking to be paid. <laughs> <laughs> it's at least twice a year. Who's not paying him? He's hounding me. <laughs> I used to feel bad between family. He got experience. <laughs> right. He got a bit of experience. Like, that's invaluable. You know what I mean? What about the time I paid for a school uniform? <laughs> but three years later, he was going out of it. Yeah. Where's my money? <laughs> I said it then. There's no point in me buying new clothes until they've stopped growing. It was a fair waste of money. Padraig was the eldest. He got clothes. He grew out of them, passed them down to Tomas. He grew out of them, passed them down to Geraldine. <laughs> She grew out of him, passed him down to JP, who'd be the youngest, right? When Padre got bigger, he got my owl claws. <laughs> okay, all right. right? I'm, the, I'm the biggest, and I'm the fatter. <laughs> and they weren't always into my style. <laughs> Geraldine, I've heard she ended up making her debs in a suit jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I think I made the money buying dresses. <laughs> and young McCormick would be pulling out of her all night. <laughs> She brought that simpleton. Oh, did she? I told her, if she takes out the jacket for one minute, I'll know. The fellas could be looking at her, aren't they? Yeah, I'm sure that's... And that young fella. Look, I gave him a hiding just to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> Before and after. <laughs> I had 14 brothers. Yeah. Every piece of clothing was handed down. By the time I got to the young fella, do you know what I mean? Your underpants would have more holes than the plot of her city. (laughs) (laughs) But the Work Relations Commission heard that the woman, she was engaged to be married to the company director. And they broke up by mutual consent. I never believed this. No? Well, like every red card I got from ref. (laughs) No, left the field by mutual consent. (laughs) (laughs) And the next day in work, he told her, hand in the P45, don't come back. And they ruled that she was unfairly dismissed and they awarded her four and a half thousand grand euro. <laughs> right? Grand euro, yeah. Four and a half grand money she got. Wow. So watch out working with people your relations. you're involved with. Okay. Maureen. I'm <laughs> <laughs> looking at me like that now. Because <laughs> you remember the band Fleetwood Mac? Yeah. Yeah, not the painter. <laughs> Dan does a lovely version of You Can Grow Your Own Hay. You know the song. I, I think it's going so your some own of them, way. Some of them were going out with each other. Oh, yes. But then they broke up. And fair fuck, they kept the band going. Yeah, that's not They kept not the old band going. It's yeah. they're on the road. Like, you have the band gotten the whole lot. You know, you want to keep, keep the gigs booked and you want yeah, to get the yeah. public and down. Like, and poor, poor. I don't think Fleet would make in pubs. I don't know. Sure, they probably, probably do dance halls, I suppose. Oh. Yeah, you're spot on again, young for the vibe. Yeah. And imagine like on the bend with one and she comes in. Oh, I've got a new song. It's called My Ex Boyfriend Has Lice. <laughs> <laughs> and a narrow Mickey. You know what I mean? It must have been tough, like. <laughs> must have been tough on it. Keeping the band going. Yeah, but they never ended up in the work relations committee, did they? No, oh, they kept it out. Now, local news. Oh, lovely. The pubs are back open. They're back. 
back. We're back. Now, the Shamrock doesn't have a beer garden. No. As he said to me, when we were young, we used to eat inside and shite outside. <laughs> <laughs> now people want to eat their dinner out in the yard and come into the pub to shit. <laughs> <laughs> Where does it end? It's crazy. I couldn't argue with his logic. So, we're now in the Bridge Bar. They have a beer garden. Well. <clears throat> beer garden. It's where they were growing the fucking thing. <laughs> it's a yard full of garden furniture. <laughs> did you have a drink? No, I, no did I have a drink? <laughs> they, they got a new bench. And I said to him, hey, Noel, don't sit in the bench. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. Even in mass, I stand. Right? <laughs> All the regulars were back. Jimmy the Rake was in. <laughs> I heard they froze him what? in a Cairo chamber. And then when the pub reopened, they defrosted him. <laughs> I heard that. Did you? That's the new thing now. Who told you that? I want that. Just all the talk. <laughs> the bucket was in. Uh, you know the bucket? Yeah. You'd be always falling around the pub. You couldn't get to the end of that fella. When the pub closed, didn't he sober up? Jesus. And he went off and became a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> the drink was holding him back. Yeah. Now, how we done it in a year and a half, I don't know. That's crazy. But yes. I heard that. You sure he's a doctor? Oh, in fact, it was all the talk at the pub. Right, right. He's Dr. Bucket now. Okay, Dr. I don't know his real name. He's Clem or something. <laughs> <laughs> Clem. They were all there. Magpie Murray. <laughs> Badger Buckley. Foxy Foley. Froggy Fahey. Sharky Sheehan. <laughs> Jack Dar Johnson, w- Willie Wagtail, <laughs> the Carter Twins, <laughs> no relation. <laughs> <laughs> they were all there, by Star started lineup. Wow. The Owl was there. Was he? And do you know the Cock Kelly? Yeah. You know the, the, cock, the cock Kelly with the walk on him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you know the Hedgehog? Who's that? Oh, he's some prick. <laughs> 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 do you know Fat Burns? Who's that? You just throw it in the fire and it'll burn away. Hey, 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 hey. Ha! Classic. Ha! Classic. Are you writing your own gags? Ha! 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 The relic was there, of course. Who's that? Do you know the old, the old they call him the relic? He's always at the bear. Oh. He served his suspension. He was barred for two years for scour talk. <laughs> Danzi said it to him, he said, Relic, if you don't stop talking about airplanes, I'm gonna bar you. <laughs> <laughs> throw him out in his arse. First time leaving the pub in years. Last time they renovated it, <laughs> they just painted around him. <laughs> they painted the wall around the man. They couldn't get away from the bar. Oh, shit. I've never even seen him get up to go to the toilet. <laughs> Dude, the really? Yeah, I think he drinks it, and then it just comes out his mouth in the form of pure sewer top. <laughs> <laughs> and star started lining up. Unbelievable. <clears throat> but I'm delighted that the pubs are back. Because people were drinking at home, and drinking too much and mm. no all measures or people getting carried away and I'm not surprised to hear that the HSE fell victim to a terrible cider attack <laughs> 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 yes it appears Ireland's health service yeah. have gotten a bad dose of some sort of homemade cider <laughs> I think it was the cyber. in a vicious cider attack <laughs> which has led to many people been unable to use their computers for weeks. <laughs> now, I, I don't know, was it <coughs> headaches or blurred vision or just a general sense of being fucked oh. that has led to this? But I'm glad that the pubs are back open. Brilliant, brilliant. I think, I think it was a cyber but attack. definitely a, a bad cider attack <laughs> can, can be devastating. I think. Okay. C- cyber. So just watch yourselves now. Yeah. I know, don't drink that stuff. Okay, right. Is that what they call it? A large bottle of cyber. <laughs> <laughs> Small glass with ice. Get out of here, yeah. That's the news. Good luck. Thanks.